please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. It's New Faces, but you didn't expect it this duel. I'm Emily. And I'm Melissa. Stay tuned for weather, sports, and news. Now sending it over to Scarlet with weather. Thanks, guys. For the weather today, there will be a high of 67, and then it will drop to 45 degrees. How nice. During lunchtime, it will be around 52, and after school, it will be 59 degrees. That's it for weather. Now back to the studio with Emily and Alyssa. Thanks to Scarlett. For lunch today on lines 1 and 2, orange chicken, line 3, hot dog bar, line 4, mini corn dogs, and line 5, flatbread pizza. A happy birthday goes out to Edwin Alanis, Daniela Arnold, Eddie Hernandez, Dylan Hildebrand, Shayla Longoria, Kelsey Matthews, and Robert Williams. Now sing it over to Nolan with sports. Thanks, Emily. The FHS competition squad will participate this coming Saturday in the timeout division at Newcastle High School. Their performance time is at 10.32 a.m. Go and watch them as they go for gold on Saturday, November 3rd, and support your hot dog competition cheer squad at Newcastle High School. The girls would love to have your support at the competition. Also, a congrats to the Spell Bowl team on their second place finish in the last night's area competition at Marion High School. This was our second straight finish on the season, and if you're interested in the idea of spelling, and all-you-can-eat pizza, make sure to mark your calendars for next season. And last but not least, all fall sports athletes, make sure you come to the fall sports banquet tonight at 7. And if you made first team, the first team banquet is Thursday, November 1st, with a bus leaving FHS 615 sharp. That's all for sports with Nolan. Now back to the studio. Sophomores interested in Hobie. You may ask, well, what is Hobie? Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership is the nation's foremost youth leadership development organization. Hobie provides youth with unique leadership training. Applications and interviews are required. Make sure to apply by November 9th. Books and Bagels will meet, in the, meet this Friday morning in the library at 7.30. If you did not get a book, please see Mrs. Willoughby. Today is day two of the Frankfurt Drama Club fundraiser. Go eat Papa John's and 25% of the sales go back to the club. Congratulations to Jacqueline Pozos for leading Frankfurt DECA this week in this year's DECA stock market game. Also, any student wearing a Halloween costume to school on Halloween tomorrow are invited to stop by the DECA room during passing periods to trick or treat. Seniors, don't forget you need to order your capping gown and tassel. The total is $41 with 73 cents. Now to a message from Student Services. Sometimes it's easy to feel like the world's getting harder. But if we look closer, on the news, on the web, on the street, we're anything but unkind. Every day, we hear new stories of people trying to make the world a better place. And together, we can make the world that little bit kinder for all of us. It all starts with just one person, you. The thing about kindness is that it's just about the only thing in the world that doubles when you share it. And it's a fact, backed by science. Studies have shown that if you perform just one random act of kindness a day, you'll not only reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression, but your body is flooded with the same hormones that make you and the person you've helped calmer, healthier, and happier. Serotonin, which heals your wounds, helps you relax and makes you feel good. Endorphins, which reduce pain, and oxytocin, which reduces blood pressure and makes you feel more loving and loved. You'll both be more energized, feel less aches and pains, more confident, and could even live longer. And if other people see you helping someone else, they'll be filled with those same feel-good hormones, meaning they're significantly more likely to pay it forward. Like taking that extra moment to hold the elevator for someone, spotting a coffee for a stranger who's just a few cents short, giving your neighbor a hand with their groceries, even just smiling and meaning it. It doesn't take much, but it can make a huge difference for everyone. Those people you've helped will help other people, and those other people will help even more people. And those random acts of kindness can start a chain reaction that can spread across an entire community, a city, a country, and with enough of us, the world. Now, isn't that the world we all want? And it all starts with one.
It is Kindness Week, and we are challenging you today to take the time out of your day to say something truly nice to someone out of your own friends. Like, Alyssa, I saw that video of the cheer competition this weekend. You did such a great job. Thank you, Emily. You're welcome. Stay tuned tomorrow for the next challenge. Remember to be kind and know that little acts of kindness can change the world. That's all for the announcements. Have a great day, hot dogs.